Logan Paul does not understand Christianity, okay? So I was watching this podcast about a month ago with Logan Paul and Carl Lentz, pastor of Hillsong. And um, look, I was just convinced that actually both these guys don't know a lot about Christianity. Um, but let's talk about Logan Paul. If you don't know who he is, um, he is a vlogger who came over from Vine. If you don't know what Vine is, man, you got a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Vine was a quick app that was here and then was gone. A lot of people came over to YouTube. And in around 2016, I think Logan Paul gained a lot of popularity, him and his brother Jake Paul. And man, they were kind of the douchebags of YouTube for a while. People just saw them as annoying, but um, it kind of a scandal happened with Logan a while back not going to catch you up on all that but he's kind of rebranded reframed into this new podcast impulsive and he had on pastor carl lentz to talk about christianity and uh you know i kind of knew who logan paul was i'd kind of seen some of his stuff but this video came up on my youtube feed so i was like let me give it a chance let me see what he's got to say and mostly i was interested in to see what carl lentz had to say because look we've all heard a lot about hillsong and about Bethel and about all these different, you know, maybe questionable churches and them putting out music and and so I was like, okay, let's see what Carl Lentz, pastor of Hillsong, New York, um, has to say about Christianity, what he thinks it's all about, and what I was met with, and you can listen to this podcast, was law and and by that I'm going to explain what I mean by that because he said continually he kept on bringing up this idea of, of loving people and of, of just being loving and accepting and that was his that was his go-to every time kind of questions would be brought up hey what's this all about what's going on he's like hey you know I just want to get to know people I just want to love people that's my big thing and I think that gives people a wrong understanding of what Christianity is about. Because sure, is it about love? Is it about loving people? That's an aspect to it. But you're not kind of reorienting their perspective of love. If you're just saying love people, look, everybody thinks that's a nice idea. But if you're not telling them what that actually means, or how God showed his love towards us, or about sin, or about judgment, or about hell, if you don't mention any of that, it's an incomplete message. And look, this kind of terminology and this kind of rhetoric from Carl Lentz that, you know, Christianity's about love and about, you know, getting to know people and just hearing their story and just, and, and all those things are good. Believe me, I'm like, I'm in favor of this. Don't mistake me for somebody that's just like a hardened, like you just preach the gospel to them and it doesn't matter about their feelings and nobody cares. Like, that's not who I am either. But we can't miss out on key elements of the gospel because otherwise people will make mistakes and have misunderstandings about the gospel like Logan has. Yeah. I was, I was, because I was raised Christian, by the way. I, I, I'm I, forgetting to mention, like, I, I did PSR, I did church. Prove and, it. Show me a certificate. For <laughs> I can show you. I was, I was baptized. His brother, is, his brother is really just goes not, to church. Not anymore. Oh, not is anymore. he not either? He, he tried it because he was lost, as most religious people do. They, they try it because they're lost and it gives them a sense of direction and hope, which mm -hmm. I think religion is good for. But, you know, it's he, he, we grew up religious. We both kind of got turned off to it. And see, that's a misunderstanding of Christianity. It's not just a purpose or a meaning. It is life itself. Because when you understand that we are all broken sinners in desperate need of help, because we are all guilty before God and because of that we will all be punished and are accountable before God. We are all deserving of hell. That's what the Bible says. All of us. The wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. You see, we can't miss that piece because that's an essential element to Christianity. And I think that's what Carl Lentz is missing. He's missing the actual you know, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, that that coming from death into life and actually being transformed from the inside out through the Holy Spirit. And it's not just about finding direction or finding purpose or or finding a way, you know, Christianity is just about like loving people. Because look, and I've said this before, if Christianity is just about love, loving people, right? When people feel like they can love people better in a different system, like Buddhism, like atheism, like 
um, Hinduism, like, uh, you know, being a, a Muslim or, or whatever. When people believe that, then they're just going to go somewhere else. But it's not just about how you can love somebody, but it's about how you can find eternal life, transformation, and, and be reconciled with the true God. And man, like my heart breaks for Logan because I think a lot of people, and, and it's all partially our fault, Christian's fault, because we've given people a misunderstanding of what Christianity is about. Because look, yeah, when you try it out, you know, give give Christianity a try. That kind of, you know, the secret sensitive mo movement. Uh, give Christianity a try. Just see see how it works. Maybe you know you'll be happier. You'll be you'll be more fulfilled. You'll you'll have more meaning in your life. And could all those things be true? Well, yeah, you probably will find more meaning in your life. Maybe like it, uh, but it's like. What, what are we actually talking about here? We're talking mainly about emotions. We're telling people, look, you know, you're going to feel better if you're a part of the Christian group. You're going to, you know, you're going to be closer to people. You're going to have a better community. All this, it's it's kind of a, uh, a wishy-washy, almost prosperity gospel type thing. Like you're going to be able to love people better and you're going to be, you know, in good relationships and all that. But that's not that's not the sales technique of the Bible. It's like come for new life, come for water that you will never thirst again, living water. Because there's a lot of <laughs> I know this term is used in a bunch of different ways, but you know, when you look in John 4, the woman at the well, you know, she Jesus is saying, you know, look, come to me, all who are thirsty. And and it's like, look, there's a lot of thirsty people walking around. And, and they don't know what they're necessarily thirsty for. And it's not, and our job is not to say, you know, oh, you know what, that Christianity is really cool because we have a fun group or, or we, we just love people, you know, we're just all about loving people and like that's our thing, that's, that's it, right? We can't stop there. That's my thing, right? Like we can't stop there. We need to flesh out the gospel a little bit more for people because otherwise there's misunderstandings like maybe I'll give Christianity a try and I wasn't really feeling it. It's not about feeling it. It's about being reconciled with the creator of the universe. And of course we want those emotions and, and feelings to be there, but they won't always be there. But our faith is not in our feelings. Our faith is in Christ and what he has said. Well, you can watch the full interview link down below. It's a podcast. It's pretty long, but um, if you want to hear it, I mean, you can. <laughs> it gave my, like, I was just like punching my head during while I was watching it uh, just because it was so frustrating. Um, but, but anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something from it. My purpose here is not to just dog on, you know, Carl Lance or Logan Paul, but it's simply to use a cultural topic that's going on and help people see what the true gospel is um, and for those of you who support me on the daily disciple club thank you so much it is through your support that i'm able to keep doing this every single week and on other platforms as well so you can follow me on instagram and on tiktok thank you so much and um i'll see you next time god bless